Uh, but we have some recent Halo news about what's going to be coming up in the future. As it's again, the near term future, that's like winter update, spring update information that I wanted to share that with you guys. And that all came in from the Halloween Horrors community update. Uh, but we had a little bit of information about the Halo Infinite winter update. In which we have one pretty much every single year. But this one I think is a little particular. I think it involves a little bit of Halo 2 in a way. Because it does turn 20 year, years old this year, which is way too many years. I still vividly remember the midnight release of Halo 2. So the fact that it's been 20 years can just like time slow down, please. Like, oh my God. But saying uh, winter update 2024. So as we approach the end of the month, we are looking forward to our upcoming operations, starting with a great journey in November, a celebration of all things Halo 2 as the beloved game hits its 20th birthday. So it's, uh, this will mark the beginning of what we're calling Halo Infinite's winter update for 2024. These are like the winter update being like the three month period, which is kind of like what a typical season would be, right? Uh, that's what they refer to like the winter update. Then they have a spring update kind of thing. Uh, so we could see some type of weapon tuning possibly. They kind of allude to that a little bit within this blog as well, uh, which includes three operations over the following months. So the winter update will bring some really exciting additions to Halo Infinite, which is where players can expect to see notable forge updates quality of life improvements, and things like third-person firefight, which we saw at HCS, which pretty cool. Uh, but I know I saw a lot of people talking about like, oh my God, like audio files are updated uh, through Steam, like, like the SDK, I think that's what it's called or something like that. Talking about like, oh my God, like we're getting some new audio, meaning like, oh my gosh, like new weapons, new sandbox. No, okay, easy there, easy. We're talking about Halo Infinite here, okay guys? Uh, if you hear anything when it comes to like, new things being added to the game or new audio files or things like that most likely those are going to be funneled through forge updates which forge is carrying this game so hard right now <laughs> uh, quality of life improvements which is most likely just mean like little bug fixes here and there fixing some crashes i don't really expect to see any kind of major sandbox updates so after the three operations of the winter update are complete that what follows in early 2025 will be the spring update and so on. I think even at this point now, the, the, the block up, there's like, you, you guys get it, right? We've been doing this for a while now. All right, and on and on until the next Halo game comes out, which I'm thinking probably by the time, and by this time next year, we probably have a pretty good idea of what's coming next for us Halo fans out there, guys. We'll have more to share about the upcoming winter update very soon, so stay tuned. So that's what we got coming up for us very soon. Uh, we most likely have like a winter contingency four, most likely. More armor customization, snowy modes, things like that. Uh, I hope this time around we actually get some snowy modes compared to uh, what we had last year. I think it was just Snowfire, if I remember correctly. Snowy, yeah, the snowy version right here of Live Fire is what we had, which I remember trying to play this i don't think i actually had a chance to play this because this was mixed in with all the other quick play modes and maps that were in halo infinite for that playlist because remember back then you couldn't there was no match composer so you just had to just jump in and just hope for the best luck out there really and i actually never had a chance to play on this i know a lot of people also didn't have a opportunity to play on the Snowfire map because it just wasn't its own individual playlist, which is such a half-baked idea. I'm surprised that they even released it in the first place. I think it's so that people were just crying for like a wintry themed type of map to come into Halo for the type of time of season. The main population of Halo Infinite and Halo franchise is based in the United States, so they want wintry themed type of map. So maybe this time around we could get some more like snowy styled maps. Probably see, probably we'll see the return of Snowfire since it's been just kind of locked away from content for like a year now at this point. So we could see this kind of come back in as well. But I'm thinking though, we might even get the best bit of content I think could come with this winter update. That being like, remember that Halo 3 refuel playlist? I think we can get that for Halo 2. Let me tell you what I'm talking about here guys. They're mentioning that the uh, starting the operation uh, back in November, this upcoming month in November is gonna be the Great Journey Operation, celebrating all things Halo 2. So it's like, 
it's got to be something like we, we gotta get like a dedicated halo 2 playlist like at least give us like halo 2 forge maps or something like of like three or four five forge maps that are reminiscent of halo 2 like they gotta do something like that right i mean personally i wouldn't mind seeing like the halo 3 refueled playlist but like for halo 2 because like uh for halo 3 refueled playlist even though they were recreations of the classic Halo 3 maps, right? Celebrating the, was that at the time 15 years, if I remember correctly? Um, they also took their own artistic liberties on some of these maps, especially on this uh, Blackout remake. Definitely very different than what Blackout played like, but I actually really enjoyed the changes that they made with it. Same thing with like the Guardian remake that had like its own type of changes that they put into it as well, which I really liked on top of that. So. Maybe we could see something very similar when it comes to the like Halo 3 refuel playlist. That would definitely get people excited. I definitely remember seeing people talking about this uh, when the Halo 3 refuel playlist came in, that people were actually like excited about it and wanted to jump in and play Halo. Like I had co I was working at GameStop at the time as a community manager, and I had co-workers like, like that didn't even know played Halo. We're like, hey. Halo 3 maps are back in Halo Infinite. I'm going to jump in and play it. Like, Halo's, Halo and Nostalgia is like peanut butter and jelly. Like, it's the main thing that's keeping people interested in the Halo franchise as a whole. So, if you would lean into that nostalgia, people will definitely jump in and start playing some more. So, I mean, there's so many amazing maps from Halo 2 I would love to see come into the uh, great journey operation if they're gonna do like a refuel playlist for this that you probably actually wouldn't see lockout return even though it's like a quintessential map and that's because we had it for the halo 3 refuel playlist right so i mean i would think sanctuary would be like there's already a sanctuary map like already made basically by unique made like a sanctuary remake which i would be pretty much ready to go all you gotta do is probably make some tweaks and you're good to go on that Ascension, I think, would be another classic Halo 2 map that you would have to see come back in the game. Uh, even Beaver Creek as well, even though it might not fit Halo Infinite's gameplay. It's just such an iconic map that you would kind of want to see it come back. Ivory Tower could be a fun map to see come back just because of adding in the grapple shot changes the movement and the way players move within the map so much that this would actually be a really fun one to see come into the game. Um, or Elongation. If you could have like the conveyor belt boxes, this of course, this is all made in Forge, keep in mind. So there's definitely limitations. But imagine if you had like repulsed and then you had these boxes on the map that you can just fling around and just kill people with it. Like that would be absolutely chaotic, but hilarious at the same time. Like I wouldn't even be mad. It'd be reminding me of like that, uh, that brute shot mode, right? That they put in MCC when it was like the but 10 year, 15 year anniversary of Halo 2, whatever it was, right? Um, that was really fun and just ridiculous and game breaking. Uh, I mean, of course you would probably need to have like Zanzibar. I mean, it's already in Halo Infinite, so I don't know if you really see it again. There's Headlong already in it, so maybe they could just repurpose some maps that are already in Halo Infinite Forge wise and then put that into the game. Turf would be a fun one as well. I mean, Turf, I always feel like it's kind of a quintessential Halo 2 map as well. But yeah, there's so many different fantastic maps that they could go off and do us. Maybe this one will finally get the Relic remake that we've seen that's been leaked around in Forge for so many months now at this point that maybe they're just saving it for the Halo 2 playlist, which I would totally make sense. Yeah, this remake right here that's been leaked out since May of 24 to hopefully maybe get us a chance to jump in and play. That would be pretty freaking sweet. I would say it's not the fanciest looking Forge map with the extra dev time that they've been able to work on it and make it look interesting. Like it's well forged, it just looks really freaking basic. And you can see like with all the comments over here, let me move my webcam so you can see what I'm talking about. Like top comments are like Mimpless saying like, looks horrible, horribly unfinished, true. Uh, I like added mountains near the background of the map, which is cool. Prominent community member Sal here said, Yawn, another remake and a simple, poorly made one at that as well. Like, not very many people are <laughs> Relic D make, which I think it's kind of like a play of a devolved, but you, you get the idea, right? I mean, it can be, I uh, compared that to what we got in Halo 2 Anniversary. I mean, obviously, dev made version of it, but like Halo 2 Anniversary, even though the frame drops were horrible on this map. Uh, it still looked fantastic compared to 
what this is or hopefully with the maybe 343 you know 343 definitely saw this they know that like images of the relic remake that were in forge like, probably but really leaked out so like okay let's not release this now wait till halo 2's anniversary make it a little bit nicer for us to be able to jump in and make it like an enjoyable environment to be in because like, like i said like it just looks like you can see all like nothing's really hidden right like that's what great forges do so well is that they're able to hide all these different little uh undulations and forge pieces to make it look more natural like, you can see like everywhere like where all the different sand pieces are like you know locked together in a way that's so unnaturally that it just really doesn't make it look nice to you know to jump in and play and it's almost kind of like half of it's like why even bother at that point when it looks so bland uh i do love the environment around it i think they're on the right path when it comes to this relic remake but for what it looks like right now at least from what we've seen i shouldn't say right now because it's like this is back in may uh, it just doesn't really look that good. I wonder if this is going to be a spot you can maybe teleport to. Uh, that's one thing I noticed when it comes to these images. This little island out here that has like a sniper nest kind of thing. I can see it right here. Like, unless it's just something that's supposed to be visual, but uh, I think over here there's supposed to be like a sniper nest in some kind of way. But maybe they just moved it out here and may just kind of in some kind of capacity where it's like its own little island kind of thing. I don't know. Again, this is all so early build that it could just be whatever and this could just be all deleted at this point and remade. But yeah, there's so many great maps that they could pull from that. I would love to have like a Halo 2 refueled playlist. That would get me to jump in and play Halo Infinite. I'd be super excited about that. Oh, how do you guys feel about that? Do you guys want to see like a Halo? Would you jump in and play Halo Infinite for a Halo 2 refuel playlist? Cause that would, I think that would be like a new, like almost like a new standard playlist. Um, oh, that was also another thing I wanted to point out as well when it comes to this. Um, I'm sure many of you probably already saw this as well with the new Dawn trailer. I don't know if you guys can kind of see in the background right here, uh, but it says on the back, on the screen right here, this is like in their kitchen area at Throw Fair 343. It says Halo Master Chief Collection, celebrating 10 years on 11-11-24. I haven't heard anything about what could happen. This could also just be like a, hey guys, remember when we released that broken POS 10 years ago? Well, it's turning 10 years old. That means you can finally say this. Exactly as it shipped 10 years ago. Exactly, yeah, that's exactly what they should do for MCC. Just exactly as it shipped, 10 years ago so we will be able to play the halo 3 or sorry the halo 2 e3 2003 demo on november 9th i'm definitely gonna play that like that's some halo history right there that you'd be actually able to engage with and play which would be super fun even though it's gonna be probably pretty janky probably only for pc so i'm sorry for all your console players out there but you know, just kind of use what it is when it comes to mods on mcc right there 